Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. We are continuing our reviews. Uh, today we will be talking about the game between Delhi Capitals and Rajasthan Royals. Um, Musti, what were your initial thoughts on this game? Outstanding death bowling, man. Like uh, it was uh, Rajasthan's game, 39 needed of 31 balls, and Nokia and Robarda. The pace at which they were bowling, Nokia clicked 156 and 155 during uh, the game. Uh, unbelievable pace. Uh, this yeah. reminded me of like the Sunrisers team of 2016, um, the Mumbai team with M- Malinga and Bumrah. Uh, like uh, the death bowling, absolutely outstanding. Like I mean, Rajasthan bowled really well as well. Uh, I think Archer was excellent. But to win a game like that, I think it'll boost a lot of confidence. And uh, these are these are the type of wins will, which will like you know win you like the tournament. Like you know when your when your bowlers are like at it. I think like you know yeah. yes we have like crazy batting as well, some batting performances. But when your bowlers bowl like that, I think it'll give your team a lot of confidence. Bowlers win your tournaments. Absolutely, I think uh, that's that's exactly what it is. The bowlers always win your tournaments. Batsmen can come every now and again and win you the games. But the bowlers' consistency is what makes it makes the tournament really click. It was every time you see any any championship side, the 2016 um, uh, winning side for Sunrisers, you saw that their batting was bare average, but their bowling, man, they was just out of this world. Like, and you mentioned the likes of Malingar, Bumra. These guys have been successful with, for Mumbai over the past few years. Almost four championships in the past eight years is because of their bowling and because of the fact that uh, Malinga, Bumra, and these guys have been so so consistent for this team. So that's exactly what it is. Rabada has been consistent. In, in the past with Delhi, but he has been uh, the, the lone survivor basically, but now with the likes of Nautier coming in, Ashwin bowling an amazing spell also, that really adds to the uh, this Delhi side's bowling and, uh, and and good things to look forward to for Delhi Capitals. I mean, that little bit of a slump against Mumbai, which is a good team, but they have uh, they have some nice things to look forward to for sure. Yeah, and um, I think the moment of the game for me was uh, when he was bowling to Josh Butler in Nokia. Josh Butler smashed him for a six and then he scooped him twice for four. Twice in the same over. And then the last ball of the over, he, he like he kept his nerve, bowled it even quicker and got him bowled. Like, you know, to get Josh Butler bowled like that, it's a big task. Like, he's one of the uh, most talented batsmen going around with the game right now, especially in the T20 format. And after getting hit by him in the same over, you come back and get his stump. Like, that's, it's not like, you know, a top edge or anything like that. He clean, like, he clearly beat him for yeah. pace. So that's unbelievable bowling. And I I feel that, like, this team are now, like, proper favorites going into the, like, yes, there there is Mumbai and stuff, but Delhi are proper favorites. With this type of bowling, it's not easy because even world-class batsmen like Butler, like Strokes, are going to have a tough time against these two. I agree 100%. There's no doubt about that. Uh, coming to their batting, Delhi, um, uh, Davin's form, is is he speaking at the right time? Because the others around him were playing well and he was kind of lackluster. But I think uh, this this performance today and even in the last game will give him a lot of uh, uh, confidence going into the next games. And if he can continue this, this kind of form, I think this Delhi side will also ha- continue to have those kind of runs for them to be able to defend or even if they have to chase him for that matter. What, what do you think? I think the best thing about Dhawan's uh, innings today was his strike rate. He was uh, striking at 172. And um, it, it was at a time where the team was in trouble. Two quick wickets, uh, uh, like which Archer took in his first two overs. So a lot of pressure and like he could have easily slowed down. We we know that Dawn likes to build his innings, but he made sure the uh, the, the runs were taking. And uh, yes, Ayer was playing the he was uh, he was playing anchor. Uh, Shreya was playing anchor, and Dawn was attacking. So I think a lot of confidence for the Delhi team and for Dawn himself. The way he was striking uh, at a high strike rate, I think uh, that will, uh, that's probably the most pleasing thing about this innings. Absolutely. And and he plays spin really well, right? So yeah. I think uh, that will help for sure. But I think the the way he was striking it uh, so uh, at such a high strike rate, that's probably the most pleasing. Yeah. And then in the end, they were that that kind of gave them the platform to get over that three one sixty mark, which is which is an, a, a, a realistic target. I mean, one sixty one seventy is a good target to chase to defend in the in these pitches now that they're slowing down. So they were able to get to that one sixty in the end uh, by some performances by uh, some some runs by Stoinis, a few from Carry towards the end. But even Rajasthan's dead bowling was actually quite quite impeccable. I mean, they were very, very good. They were able to pull it back in the last four overs. 180 was on the cards at one one stage, but they were able to pull it back to 161. So uh, Rajasthan would have been happy with their bowling. Just the batting again, that's a little bit susceptible now, still suspect now. 
Uh, yes, definitely. And their top four need to finish off games. Like, uh, uh, I understand, uh, like, you know, Stokes is coming back after a long break. Uh, but, uh, like, he was set at 40. Samson was set. Uh, Butler was set uh, 22 of eight balls. So you can't throw wickets on these pitches because I even... Um, one thing is, on these kind of pitches, once you're set, you can't lose your wicket because for the new batsman, it's very difficult to come in and just hit it. You saw Tewatia struggle today. Uh, um, uh, even Uttapa, like, he had played some shots. But it wasn't that easy uh, for the new batsman. So when your star players are getting you the starts, it's not like they're not informed. They're getting you the starts, but they need to finish off the game. And they were lucky in the last game that uh, Tiwati and Parag pulled it off, but that's not going to happen every game. They need to be more convincing. If you notice, like a couple of their wins out of three wins uh, have been like freak wins, like, you know, um, just some outstanding single performance. But they shouldn't be winning games like that. They should be winning convincingly with the, uh, with the players they have. Yep, I agree. I think uh, I think that one of these top four start, needs to start taking responsibility of of staying till the end, especially after getting set. You know, you really don't want you can you can have the guys at the other end kind of just try to hit out or get out kind of, but they definitely definitely need to stick out, uh, stick stick it out till the end and really guide your team home. And these are the these are the experienced guys, uh, international stars in Butler, Sto- in Butler, Stokes and Smith, and none of them have really take put in a put on a performance that is worthy of 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 uh, the kind of money that they're being paid. With due respect to to their performances but uh, and Samson also he's he's a great player everyone knows we've all been talking about his talent he needs to step it up again just some more consistency surely needed over there there's you cannot continue to keep just you know having two or three games every season and expecting the the uh, expecting like to be in the Indian team and everything that consistency is very important if you want to consider to, like to be a part of the Indian team on a regular basis yeah, de- definitely. He needs to be more consistent. When he bats, everyone's uh, in awe of his batting, like uh, including me. I think he's yeah. wonderful talent, but you can't, like, especially when you're set. Okay, fine. He got out early in the last couple of games. That can happen to anybody. But when you're set, you can't throw your wicket like that. You need to uh, see it off. And I think he should have shown a bit more maturity, especially today. And yeah. that goes uh, for even the likes of Stokes, Butler. And Smith has been in awful form. I don't know what happened. He started off really good. And yeah. that's going to hurt Rajasthan because he was the guy who's supposed to anchor on these pitches, you know, rotate the strike player. Kohli type innings um, and it's not it's just not happening for them yeah I agree. I think uh, some some things for them to just you know really sit down and think about because now the games are coming thick and fast and suddenly a couple of losses here and there and and Rajasthan would have been at eight points if they would have won this but uh, now they're kind of again fighting for that fourth spot. Um, so your boy Tuvati, I couldn't finish it off today. <laughs> <laughs> I told you yesterday he's, he's gonna have a poor game today. But I mean it's it's it's, un, it's unfair to call it a poor game. But he he tried as hard as he could. Um, it's difficult for a new batsman. Yeah. You need I the top the game, order. Yeah, I think the game pitches. changed when uh, when Ajinkya Rahane caught that in the last first ball of the last over he picked that catch and then he just dropped it in the front you know so in the I think that was the final time. coffin that was the last uh, yeah. Th- yeah I think but, I think he I think if, if that would have gone for six that Tivatia uh, that magic was starting to show and so I just the moment it hit went out of the like when the moment he hit it I thought okay gone for six and yeah. it's over Tiwadia is going to finish this game off because the new bowler in Tushar, he'd be scared. First ball was a wide, second ball, he's not hit for six now. Suddenly, 15 or five balls, you know, suddenly it looks, everything looks possible. But hats off to uh, uh, that, that young kid in Tushar also. To yeah, and he, his for, debut wicket of Ben Stokes, man. What a what a debut, <laughs> like for, uh, what an IPL debut. Like he, he'll be sleeping very well today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just, he was not, he was a pretty economical as well. I don't think he gave away too many runs. Compared to the others, yes, a little bit more, but I think pretty decent for a first game. Yeah, and the way, like he got hit in his first over after after that, he came back brilliantly, I think. Yeah. But one thing you mentioned earlier, I think it was very important. If you look at it from Rajasthan's point of view, you talked about uh, Nokia and Rabada, how they're complementing each other, right? Yeah. The best bowler in this game in terms of figures was Archer, right? Yeah. Three overs, yeah. uh, 19 runs. Uh, uh, no, I mean, four overs, 19 runs and like three wickets. Yeah. Uh, and he went, call me 4.75, but he didn't have the backing. The other so bowlers going for eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And uh, if he had that backing like a Nokia, maybe not exactly him, but a yeah. support like that, it, yeah. he, they could have won the game. So that's why if you want to win a championship, you need like two high quality bowlers. Ba- like you need to bowl in partnerships, not just bat in partnerships. Absolutely. 100%. One, no doubt about that. No, Archer is an absolutely incredible player. The likes of Tiagi, Ta- uh, are are kind of trying, but they're not that not good enough. Not good, not good enough. You know that fast bowling options are are limited. Sure, as Gopal Rahul Tiwari also going for some runs. Ben Stokes got hit a little bit today as well. So it's 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 really that that two or three bowlers need to give you twelve good overs, and then you maybe you can have like a couple bowlers go for some runs. But like uh-huh. if, like for example here, all of them bowled well. Akshar gave a few, but he took a wicket. But Ashwin, uh, Nautier, and uh, and Trabada, all of the all these three were good. And that's what's important, right? You end up like that's that's kind of those are those are kind of uh, spells that win you games and then eventually tournaments, right? So 
Yeah, I think the only thing which is going to trouble Delhi is injuries. Uh, Rish, uh, Rishabh Pant already out. You saw how that disturbed the combination. Now Shreyas yeah. Ayer had a yeah. shoulder injury. Hopefully, it's not too bad because you saw him moving the shoulder, but he didn't yeah. feel after that injury. So yeah. that'll be a, a concern because they'll need their captain. They'll need Rishabh Pant back. So I think uh, that's one thing they'll uh, be hoping that it's not a big deal. But apart yeah. from that, they're looking like an amazing side. Only yeah, I, I think, think Mumbai is on their level right now. Yeah, I think Ayer was just taking a precautionary because he was he, he could have taken the game off, so he just took it off. And uh, and um, Rishabh Pant is back in a week, I think, so that should just come back to its uh, its. But you agree? I, I agree. Like uh, if if there's like a uh, if if they if they lose uh, someone like uh, how Bhuvi was important to Sunrisers, if they lose someone like that, then uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to to kind of fill that hole. So. Uh, yeah, that's probably the only thing that can really disrupt that momentum going forward. For and I think similarly for Mumbai as well. But um, I think that uh, wraps it. Oh, your man of the match. Uh, for, look, um, uh, Dhawan was brilliant. I think uh, he's probably my second, and um, uh, after that, a year as well. Uh, but I have to give it to Nokia. Yeah, he yeah. changed the game. But I really want to give a shout out to Shikhar Dhawan. I think the way he played was magnificent. But then also when he was called upon, he captained at a pressure time because when he, when Ayer went off, the game was in Rajasthan's hands. And but he kept his calm. He used his experience. And you know he's like the most experienced Indian in that side. And he's not captaining like he, you know he he's given the back seat. Uh, he's taken the back seat. Ayer is the captain. But when when required, when called upon, he came. He did his duty prop professionally and. It, it looked like he took interest in it. You know, he was moving the field. He was discussing yeah. with this bowler. I think that comes with experience. Uh, he's. I, I haven't seen him captain too much, but today I think uh, uh, overall it's been a great day for Dhawan and for Nokia. Just man, 156 clicks. I can't get over it. Uh, unbelievable bowling. Uh, yes, good support from Rabada, but I think that Nokia over the third last over changed the whole game. Uh, just absolutely brilliant. He's he's good with the new ball. He's excellent in the depth, and he's been the find of the tournament for me so far. I think so too. I think he's been an absolutely incredible find. Uh, good, for, good for Delhi to keep that faith in him and continue with him. And he's he's been he's just proved th- uh, time and again that he's an absolutely uh, world class bowler and and more to come from him. Yeah, then definitely. I think that wraps up today's game. Moving on to tomorrow, the Bangalore Royal Challengers, Bangalore playing Kings Eleven Punjab. Best friends of the field against each other today. Uh, we saw this uh, the, the Puma event where uh, uh, Virat and the KK were talking to. But on the on the field, it's going to be interesting. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's going to be a cracker. Punjab really desperately need a win. Uh, I think uh, get ready for the Gale Storm. I think he's going to play tomorrow. Uh, and it's in Sharjah. So if he gets going, yes, the wickets are slowing there. But if it's a new surface, or even if it's not, like that ground, the guy can... I mean, smash it to all parts. If he gets going, he hasn't played so far, so I don't know how his form will be. But um, an exciting game. I think Punjab will need to do a few different things like bringing in Gil. Uh, but right now, RCB, uh, red-hot form. It's going to be interesting. Um, AB de Villiers, uh, we saw what he did in Sharjah last time around. So it'll be tough to beat this RCB side, but I think Punjab desperately needs a win, and I think they'll give it the best. They'll, they'll take it close. I think Punjab is going to break their shackles tomorrow. I mean, they, they, I, th- I don't think they'll qualify for top four by any stretch of the imagination. I think that's kind of far. But I think um, they've lost way too many now to just have some luck go their favor in their favor. I think that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, Bangalore I have that feeling as well. Yeah. well. yeah, Bangalore has been playing well, no doubt about that. Uh, but they have a they have a few games together in quick succession. So they, they, they'll probably just cool off a little bit, maybe a game here and there. It's, it's normal to drop a game here and there for someone like that. If it was Delhi who was more consistent, maybe I wouldn't, I would go for Delhi. But I think at this point in time, I think, like you said, I was also expecting the Gale Storm. Uh, and in Sharjah, you know, the pitches might be slow, whatever, but hand-eye coordination, like we saw with AB de Villiers, I'm not comparing uh, Gale to AB. But I think if, if Gale can really get that hand-eye coordination going, he just needs to really hit a couple in the middle and he might just score you some big runs. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, if he gets going, watch out, man. The car is over there. They'll be under threat. Like I believe, I believe Preeti Zinta is back, so she might be in the stands as well. So <laughs> she's been a good charm for them in the first game. She was there when they won that only game that they won so far. So yeah, and uh, interestingly, the, the only game they won was against RCB. So I mean, that, that will give them some confidence also going into the game. Hopefully, and yeah. like you said, like it's a good team. There's a lot of mistakes happening. Team changes. There's a, a game planning. There's a lot of mistakes happening. But if they can get it together, uh, they can. They can win games and I think tomorrow they should have like if they don't win tomorrow then like it's all over it's already going to be difficult but it's all over but yeah so they'll be it's do or die for them and I think they'll come out strong yeah 
it would be good for the tournament if they can just keep keep a couple more games here and there at least you know keep themselves uh, at least uh, give them an outside chance to make it you know if they win yeah. their next uh, uh, six or seven games who knows maybe they might just sneak in but it's it's unlikely it's it's really hard for them uh, with some with, uh, with uh, the thing, yeah the thing is with Rajasthan losing Sunrise losing Chennai not as consistent that fourth spot is there to play for like it's up for grabs so I think like you never know like you said you just need to keep winning and see what happens. Yep, exactly. So I mean, uh, it's it'll just be good for the tournament if Punjab makes that, uh, gets that po- points under their belt, and you know they would be at four, a bunch of teams at six, some at eight. You know, it just keeps that momentum going. Uh, just keep it tight towards the end till the end of the tournament. So that'll be fun to see. Yeah, and if Punjab win, uh, it might bring RCP into that third, fourth into race. Like, third yeah, spot, yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll be easier for other teams uh, to catch them maybe if they yeah. do. So it'll be interesting if Punjab do win. I think it's just going to be a cracker of a game. It'll just be fun to see. Uh, your players yeah. to watch out in his team? Uh, A.B. De Villiers and um, Chris Gale if he plays. Fair enough. I think we talked about both of them. There's not much else we can say about them. Both <laughs> yeah. champions in their own in in their own uh, in their own way. Um, I I expect some Gale uh, Gale fire tomorrow for sure. It's going to be tough for him because he hasn't played right. But Absolutely. of course he's he's very, like you know he's very powerful, talented, and everything. But it yeah. will be difficult for him. But I just feel like you know it might just click for him. It just yeah. might click with the ground and, and everything. Yeah. And if Bangalore is in the form that they are, then it's going to be just going to be very hard, of course. But just I'm just expecting a good game. So that's what we'll, 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 we've got a lot of those and continue to get some good games. Yeah, and um, I think win the toss bat f- first, even if it's like a 160, 170, 180 score, it will be defendable because if it's a slow wicket, then uh, it's not going to be an easy chase like we've seen uh, on the fresh char- charger pitches. I agree 100%. So it's going to be fun to watch. Yep. Yep. I think with that, we wrapped up uh, the pod. Uh, take care. We'll see you tomorrow. For sure, man. See you tomorrow. Take care. Yep.